G'day viewers, I'm at a property out at Mundaring today. Uh, this is a Huawei system uh, with a backup box, three phase, and uh, a little uh, Huawei battery there also. Um, this is not my install, I kind of inherited this one. Um, bit of a backstory on it, so the client purchased the solar system with the battery and um, mid-install he was confirming with the installers whether the system did backup and islanding or not. Um, they told him it couldn't do backup and so he told them to stop and he'll contact a retailer and get them to remove it because he's out in a rural situation here and the uh, the backup power was and being able to island which means sort of remain off grid with the inverter active was important to him uh he contacted me about a year later and um after contacting the retailer telling them to stop come and pull the system out because it can't do what he was told it would do um he contacted me they never came back they left the battery there consequently the company went broke uh, they left the battery there um, and um, the system has been sort of idle apart from the inverter doing its thing. The battery was idle for about 12 months. Uh, he contacted me, asked me to supply something that can do what he wants. Uh, I looked into the Huawei product because I wasn't actually familiar with it and discovered that it can actually indeed do backup and it can island. Uh, so then it was a matter of getting it all up and running. A lot of the comms cables had been run, but not connected. Uh, this is not my work, um, but uh, I got it all up and running and uh, finished it off sort of thing. So the battery's been up and running now for about 12 months, but what has happened now is the backup box has failed. Uh, one of those contactors, I can't remember now, I was here a while ago, uh, has failed. So it no longer does what it's supposed to do. It's not actually that old. Um, so that's pretty disappointing. Huawei not in the Australian market anymore. They withdrew. Yet another uh, industry, solar industry retailer to disappear from the market. Um, they did re-emerge. Uh, they are now called an iStore. Uh, so the iStore products you see from Solar Gain is just a rebadged Huawei. Um, so I have managed to source a new backup box. Um, not cheap, very expensive exercise for them, unfortunately. But um, with the replacement with the new one, at least they'll have some spare parts now. These contactors, they're not sort of your regular DIN mount contactor. They've got a special sort of mounting bracket that you can see at the back there. So it wasn't a case of just being able to replace a contactor. Um, not that I could work out anyway. Maybe someone watching this will be able to give me some uh, other information that will enable me to do that in the future, but I couldn't see a way around it. Um, so the best option was just to buy a new replacement backup box. So that's what I'm doing today. Uh, getting it back up and running again. Um, so the client can... Uh, have backup power, which is really important out here in rural situations in Australia, because obviously with bushfire and um, the network out in the street, there is actually poles and wires, so they are quite susceptible to um, to power outages and so forth. So, and he runs a business from home, so the backup power is important to them. So, that's today's job. Hopefully, it all goes nice and smooth, and we can get the system back up and running. That is me, if you need me for any of this sort of work, um, fixing other people's mistakes, getting batteries to do what they're supposed to do, and just general fault finding in the Perth and Wheatbelt area, I can help you with that. Cheers, guys.